In this example, we're asked to multiply fractions, and our first set of fractions involves mixed numbers. So let's see how we're going to handle that. Let's change each mixed number to an improper fraction. 2 times 5 is 10 plus 1, so my first fraction becomes 11 over 5 times 3 times 9 is 27 plus 1, 28 over 9 becomes my second fraction. Then what I'm going to do is multiply straight across 11 times 28 over 5 times 9. Now at this stage what I'd like to do is to see if there are any common factors that's going to make my products a little smaller. 28 is 4 times 7, 9 is 3 times 3. There are no common factors between the numerator and denominator so I'm just going to multiply straight across. 11 times 28 is 308, 5 times 9 is 45, so what I need to do now, this is my improper fraction result, I'm going to need to use long division to find quotient and remainder so I can write as a mixed number. So 45 into 308, that's going to go 6 times. 6 times 45 is 270. If I subtract, I get a remainder of 38, which is less than 45, so we're good here. So my mixed number becomes 6 and 38 divided by 45. Notice there are no common factors between 38 and 45, so this is my final mixed number result. Looking at the second problem, 6 twelfths times 14 24ths, what I'm going to do for each of these fractions separately before I multiply is I'm going to look for common factors. So the numerator of the first fraction is 6 times 1, the denominator is 6 times 2. I'm still multiplying those. The numerator of the second fraction is 2 times 7, the denominator of the second fraction is 2 times 12. So there's some common factors I can remove before I begin my multiplication. So 6 over 6 and 2 over 2 will reduce away, leaving me with 1 half times 7 twelfths. That gives me 7 over 24. I have no common factors between 7 and 24, so this is my final result.